The following film is a selection from Breast is Best. The original film of 45 minutes with additional information is available at Breastfeeding Promotion Switzerland. Breast milk is free of charge, saves money, is readily available, is always delivered fresh, clean and at just the right temperature in beautiful, environmentally friendly packaging. Mother's milk is for babies. Women breastfeed in many situations. They breastfeed regardless of our cultural background. And they breastfeed both babies and toddlers. Wherever a mother has the right to be, she also has the right to breastfeed. It goes without saying that the baby should be served as well. Breastfeeding isn't always so easy. Many women struggle because they don't get enough support. New mothers don't always have experienced breastfeeders to ask for advice. Some wean too early, either because they need some help they don't get or because they are not aware of all the advantages of breastfeeding. Did you know that there are great advantages for yourself as well? Your uterus returns more quickly to normal. During breastfeeding, you even produce less stress hormones, so you can more easily cope with having a new baby. Actually, breastfeeding also has long-term health benefits. Recent research indicates that breastfeeding may help you avoid illnesses later in life, for instance, diabetes. Perhaps most, important of all, Perhaps most important of all, if you breastfeed your children, you'll definitely have a lower risk of getting breast cancer, one of the most serious threats to women today. Advantages for mother, quicker back to normal, less stress hormones, better mood, sounder sleep. Later in life, less diabetes, less breast cancer. If there are no medical problems, the newborn is put straight onto the mother's belly. Most babies, though not all, will quickly find their way to the breast. She makes characteristic calling sounds. The baby isn't ready to suckle straight away, but will gradually start moving her lips and tongue. She dribbles a little and tries putting a hand to her mouth. The first few hours after birth, the mother's hormonal response to the baby's touch is stronger than at any other time. She tries again, she does not give up. Nearly there. She finds the nipple all by herself. It is natural to help the baby to the breast when she shows signs of readiness, like here. Look at her mouth. Turn the baby towards you, front to front. Draw her close to you. Baby's nose is level with the nipple. Let her root and search and open wide to take a good mouthful of breast. Her bottom lip is curled outward. The chin lies against the breast, and she can easily breathe through the tiny gap by her nose. The intense suckling movements can be seen all the way back to her ears. Most babies can manage this during their first hour or two, but others need more time before they're ready. There is always another chance. But with such a good latch on, she can suckle for as long as she wants to. When circumstances allow, uninterrupted contact is also possible in the event of a caesarean. Without warning, he's lifted out of his mother's womb. After thorough drying, he is put skin to skin with his mother during the operation. Now everything will feel much better. Sometimes a mother isn't available straight away. Then father's chest can provide warmth, security and the sound of a heartbeat. 
But regardless of how it came into the world, the baby should as soon as possible be placed skin to skin with mother undisturbed. The baby stays warmest in a maternal nest like this. The skin temperature of a mother's chest increases when her baby is placed there and the newborn achieves a normal body temperature more quickly. Is there a big difference between my own milk and formula? Yes, there is. Formula is made from cow's milk and lacks a lot of what's found in mother's milk. Human milk is the best food for a baby and perfectly suited for his needs. The composition is ideal. Mother's milk, tailor-made for human babies. Easily digestible, matures the gut. Changes with baby's need through each meal and the time of the day. Changes with the age of the child. Fatty acids especially benefits brain. Human milk is full of protective antibodies that support and mature the baby's own immune system. Mother's milk reduces the incidence and severity of a great number of infections. Compared to formula-fed infants, babies who are breastfed are much less likely to get serious diarrhea and urinary tract infections. They also have fewer and less serious episodes of pneumonia, bronchitis, colds and ear infections and keep on having a lower risk of lung infections for years after the breastfeeding ended. So the conclusion is that mother's milk is the best food and the best preventative medicine your baby can possibly get. What does it take to provide enough mother's milk for your baby? Today we know that the more you breastfeed, the more milk you will produce. Easy to say, but starting out with a new baby can be demanding. The baby needs to be in touch and be fed even at night. So from now on, mum must try to take a nap during the day, whenever possible. How very helpful then that the breastfeeding hormones make you sleepy. It's tiring when the baby wakes you, but on the other hand, most babies and mothers sleep extra soundly after feeding. With little rest and many demands, the whole thing can feel overwhelming. Most newborns want to suckle often after a day or two. They need to practice while the breast is still soft, and the frequent little tastes help to prevent infections. Who could believe that this is the same mother a few days later? In first-time mothers, the milk usually increases around the third day, but often earlier in mothers who have breastfed before. When the baby gradually feels secure that there will always be a big body providing warmth and food, everything starts to feel better. It's quite normal for the baby to suckle frequently, at least every couple of hours for the first few weeks. This will mean 8 to 12 feeds over 24 hours. Most women need at least two hours, combined, of effective suckling over a 24-hour period in order to produce enough milk. The baby signals an interest long before it starts to cry. Take a look at the eyelids. Beneath them, the eyes are starting to move. The tongue becomes active and the baby makes little noises. A hand might go towards the mouth and the lips begin searching. Now he is opening his eyes, but he is still calm. A good starting point for putting the baby to the breast. If he doesn't get any response now, he'll start squirming. Finally, he gets quite agitated and it can be difficult to get a crying baby to latch onto the breast. If you keep the baby close, it's easier to recognize when it signals, I'm ready. The position might be helpful if the baby shows no interest in the breast. If the baby is put skin to skin on mother's chest, the right instincts may be activated. Many women prefer to sit up while nursing, particularly in the beginning. This makes it easier to see what's going on. A chair with a relatively straight back and armrests can work well.
Make sure your feet are firmly planted and that the baby or the arm holding baby are supported. Many mothers will eventually start using their thigh as a support. It's easiest for the baby to lie facing the breast, usually belly to belly, but if the breast is drooping down, the baby's position is adjusted to suit. Some women like using a breastfeeding pillow, particularly for twins, or to support their own arms. The classical position is to cradle the baby's head in the crook of your arm whilst feeding. But it's often easier to help the baby if you slide your other hand under the neck. Many find it best to hold the baby's body under your arm. The way the baby takes the breast is crucial. This baby has a poor latch and is only sucking at the tip of the nipple. Note the distance to the mole. Here the baby has opened wide and the mole is now much closer. The baby should have as big a mouthful as possible. Let the nipple point towards baby's nose. When the mouth opens wide, the breast must be there. Many babies need time before they learn to open their mouth well. Searching a bit, trying hard, big disappointment. Try to tease the baby's upper lip with the nipple. Good try, but still not enough. Offer the underside so that the baby has to open wide to catch the nipple. There we go. If you can't breastfeed, in spite of all the good support in the world, be glad that we have adequate substitutes for mother's milk. The baby is well fed and can still get plenty of tenderness skin to skin. The World Health Organization recommends exclusive breastfeeding for six months, continued with other food up to two years of age or more.